Hey guys, how's it going? DUJ2 here and welcome back to Fortnite Save the World and welcome to a Let's Talk video. We are going to talk the year two birthday llamas, the second year anniversary, the news that we just got. Uh, I want to talk about it because there is a lot of questions that you guys have been putting in the comments and the videos uh, and a lot of like, I don't know, maybe people aren't understanding what they're trying to get to, what they're saying to us over on the Reddit post, including some other stuff that I want to uh, clear up and talk about of things that I think are going to be happening, including a couple of the big ones, which is um, like why are you know only year two stuff in in there in uh in the in the birthday llamas or going to be in the birthday llamas uh when exactly is it coming uh how many tickets is enough and how to get those tickets so we're going to talk about that we're going to talk about everything related to the information that we got yesterday and get ready because every single day from now until the birthday event starts i have planned videos to be released now i think that the birthday event is going to happen next thursday we'll talk why about that uh but if in case it does get released before that i'm just gonna plan out my videos to bring them out and talk to you about all this because it's exciting it's really exciting including all the new information the locker information all that because uh some a couple of things that people have constantly been asking in the videos is where's the birthday llama i don't see it yet or people have even been asking in the comments and and asking me where are the emotes how do i unlock the emotes because um, there's a lot of misconception exactly when things are going to be coming out. So I want to talk about that, including my opinion about all this and how I feel about this and get ready because I have some more videos, like I said, coming, uh, both talking about this, you know, uh, topic talking about the, 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 just talking a lot of stuff about the birthday event. So let's jump into it guys. Uh, first off, as always though, I want to give a huge thanks to you guys thank you very much for watching my videos thank you very much for sharing them thank you very much for supporting me for coming to the streams uh for playing with me thank you so much all of you guys also using my creator code especially now the creator code right there creator code duj2 especially now guys especially now that we are going to possibly get the locker in save the world a lot of people are like well i gotta get i gotta get me i gotta get me those I gotta get those emotes <laughs> because right now all we know is that the emotes are coming we don't know if anything else is coming i would really 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 enjoy in the future if they were to update the pickaxes so that we could actually modify and put different skins on their pickaxes pickaxes that and the backpacks too backpacks i, I think that backpacks and, and pickaxes and the emotes could totally make their way into save the world i don't see why they couldn't um, it, it, it would be perfectly fine. Apart from the fact that, uh, we do have some weapons, like Battle Royale has some pickaxes that are actually our melee weapons. Uh, that would be a little weird, but you know what? I, I, I just want, I, I want more stuff. I want more stuff, especially cosmetic stuff in Save the World. Especially if Save the World is to be going free to play. It would be absolutely amazing if, uh, people who play Battle Royale could take over into save the world a lot of their cosmetics to be able to enjoy them and save the world but anyway thank you very much thank you for using my code you guys are awesome i really appreciate it so let's jump into the video and talk about this so where are we going to start we're going to start well you know what let's start over on the let's start over on reddit okay we're going to start over on red. We're going to start with the roadmap. And of course, I will leave links down below uh, to all of this. I'm really excited to talk more about this with you guys. Um, maybe, you know what? <sighs> I might have to, I might actually have to release two videos tomorrow. Of course, my Sunday must have video, uh, but I might release a different video in the morning talking more about this because I have a I have a lot. I've been doing a lot of research. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of research and there's a lot of stuff that I want to talk with you guys about these, uh, about this stuff coming, about the birthday one. So what do we know? What did we, did we know? Or what do we know about when this event starts? So for everyone who is watching right now, right now the birthday event has not started. The birthday event will start sometime next week. Also, the emotes are not in Save the World yet. If you haven't seen the, if you haven't seen the, let me see, can I see it? Uh, yeah, if you haven't seen the the video, let me just play it really quick here for you guys. So this right here Actually, let me go ahead and uh, boop and do this and then do 
this right here okay so this right here is the video that we have seen this is the video that is uh um that is over on on reddit if you link it a lot of people can't see it yet i don't know why they can't see it but basically it shows you that you know you are it's kyle he is in save the world i love the fact that they chose that emote uh so he is obviously in save the world against level 34 enemies he goes over he goes to star power and boom there you go there's the emote so that's how we know that emotes are going to be coming to save the world and of course coming season 10 but again that means it's coming sometime in season 10 will it come at the beginning of season 10 i don't know i mean honestly it, it's anyone's guess um they have been really good actually about releasing stuff earlier on in the events so in the seasons so maybe maybe what they will be bringing how they're going to integrate it how they're going to do it we have no clue yet a big um a big question that a lot of people have been asking is and it's actually something i've been seeing in the comments a lot is people saying well what if it's not the same locker and that's a possibility too uh and i will talk more about this in the future i i, I have been doing a little bit more research about it and it is possible it's possible that this locker is going to be just for save the world and this would mean an even deeper and an even wider separation of battle royale from save the world it's possible guys it's possible that uh just because they're bringing the locker doesn't mean they're bringing the they're going to share it with battle royale because obviously if they have that that means that we're going to be able to purchase emotes in save the world as well so they're going to show up in our shop now that's the other question what if we are able to buy these emotes with gold in our shop it's possible but then that also brings up the question what if we have our own locker in save the world and it's going to be one separate from battle royale that is a possibility but again we will not know any of this information till we get closer to season 10. when is season 10 starting season 10 starting in two and a half weeks only two and a half weeks so july 1st i believe will be the first week of season 10. and of course it's going to be the fall season so we're going to have fall tickets <laughs> so that's probably where it's going to move into and that's where we're going to go into there and we're going to have to wait and see till we get closer for us them, for them to give us more information about how the locker system is going to work in save the world and again like i said i do have a video that i'm been, i'm working on right now about just all the possibilities of what could happen here and why i think it would be good for them to do it only save the world and also why i think it would be bad but i will be talking about that in the future um, so what do we know about the birthday one? So that, that's, that's a bit about the, about the emotes season 10. Let's focus now on the birthday event. What do we know about the birthday event? Well, we know that this of course hap came out, uh, June 7th. This was over a month ago. We got this roadmap, which said we wanted to give you a heads up that the sci-fi llama will be available until the launch of version 9.40 9.40 which is starting this week which is the week of 716 now 716 is tuesday this does not mean that it is coming out on tuesday now a lot of people have been asking me well when do i think this is going to come out when do i think that the birthday event is going to start I kind of think, and of course I could be very wrong with this, but I do believe that the birthday event is going to start on Thursday, on the 18th. And the reason why I believe this, and there it just said it's going to start the week of the 16th, which is Tuesday. So it could be that whole week. The reason why I think it's going to be like that is because normally we see... Um, normally we will see the big updates, like big updates starting on Thursday. Now, right now, as of this moment, I don't think we have any information of when Battle Royale has announced because a lot of times Battle Royale will announce before when the up big updates are going to happen. But if you guys know, if you guys know if on Battle Royale they've announced the day that version 9.40 starts, please let me know down below, below in the comments because then we will know for sure, for sure, for sure what day the birthday event is going to start and don't forget this birthday event is also for uh for um it's going to be for fortnite in general so it's going to be very interesting it's going to be very interesting how this develops how it um it's going to envelop all of fortnite because of course this is just when fortnite started fortnite started two years ago guys which is crazy to think that two years have passed already but we're going to have to wait and see how they're going to integrate that into save the world and all around. But version 9.40 is more than likely, I believe, going to start on Thursday. So Thursday is when the birthday llamas are going to pop up in the shop. Now, what's going to happen over in the shop? 
for those of you who don't know, this sci-fi llama right here is going to go away. Now, these llamas here, we don't know if there's going to be a change to them, but over here, these sci-fi llamas will be going away. The sci-fi llamas will be going away, guys. That does not mean that the tickets, the tickets we're currently using right now, these summer tickets will not be going away. They will be staying. We get to use summer tickets for the entirety of Season 9. So all of Season 9, the summer event, the summer season, we use that ticket. We're going to use the same tickets to get birthday llamas. And how much are the birthday llamas going to cost? Birthday llamas are going to cost 1,000 tickets each. Now, I will be talking very soon, probably tomorrow, about what I recommend. Do I recommend you to spend on uh, sci-fi llamas? Do I recommend you to spend on birthday llamas? Um, it just depends where you are in the game, how many tickets do you have, and what you have. But we'll talk about that soon. So once these go away and sci-fi llamas will go away, the birthday llama will replace it here. Now, of course, I do believe there are going to be is there's going to be a birthday event as well. There was one last year. Last year's birthday event, we did get uh, birthday brigade Ramirez. So last year we got birthday brigade Ramirez. There, there she is. See, she's got the one on the back. I wouldn't be surprised if we get a Jonesy, a birthday brigade Jonesy, for year two. Now, this is the thing, guys. I don't think that they're going to. And, they may they may bring back birthday ramirez uh for this event i i don't think they should guys i really don't think they should i think that birthday brigade ramirez should be a hero that only people who played during the first year should have because that's obvious now the way they've done things now the only thing you need to do is there's already go, uh, ain't done yet there's already standard perk there's already heroes with the standard perk ain't done yet so I don't think that's a big deal that you know we we don't have birthday break that someone who wasn't playing there during the first season or during the first uh, year or the first birthday event won't have her i i am i just think that's how it is it's just like i've i've made a uh, reference to this many times before i play runescape i played runescape over oh my gosh it's been 17 years now I've been playing RuneScape for 17 years now. I'm not as hardcore of a player as I used to be. I'm very, very casual now. I just go in once in a while, you know, chop up a couple of trees, do a couple of um, of QBD uh, QBD runs, uh, and that's it. You know, just I, I just I just very casually enjoy. It. Although I will say I have been getting more and more into RuneScape again, and I kind of want to jump into it again. I don't know. I don't, anyway, but just like that, I have my capes. I have my you know my veteran capes and. If you have your veteran capes, you can't get them if you haven't been or playing that long because it's just that's just how it works. That's just how the game works. It depends how long you've been playing. So I feel that this birthday brigade Ramirez should only be for people who have been playing since the first birthday event. Now, of course, I do think they should have a second one. There should be a second hero. There should be a hero that has a number two on his back or in a cake or something or a present. I don't know, but I do feel that there should be one. So more than likely, there will be an event that will be attached to this. So I don't think that's going to be a problem. I don't think that's going to be a big deal. Um, I think that will be happening. So, you know, that's just how it's going to come along. Now, that's going to be for the tickets. And that's how it's going to be when they're going to be coming. They're going to be costing a thousand. Uh, yes, there is right here a list of all the stuff you can get. I have my list right here. I printed it out. Um, I have a list right here. I'm going to actually make a couple of these copies. I'm going to go through and I'm gonna, I love the fact that you can check off everything. I'm going to check off everything I already have and everything that I still need. Now, a lot of things that people have been asking is, will the survivors be there? No, the survivors are not there. And I don't think that's a problem because, and this is the other thing that I was talking about also in the comments with people, is I believe that over here in the collection book, we are going to see a large expansion to both the expansion people and the expansion schematics i think we're going to see a very large increase in these here um for maybe like the fortniteers so now that's going to be interesting because it's possible that they may have to separate things into two and it's also possible that what we're going to see as we're going to see over here in event people uh we're going to see the fortnite heroes here maybe well these aren't, aren't the costume party attendees so these costume party attendees it's very possible that this whole thing may go over into the expansion schematics if you've noticed they separated them so 
Of course, you need these here to be able to get the Jackal Launcher. I think it's possible that these may show up over in the expansion, or you'll be able to get them normally, or there will be some other way to get the Jackal Launcher. Regardless, if there isn't, it's not you know it's not the end of the world but i know that people really do enjoy being completionist in a game sometimes though you just can't do that if you weren't around for when something happened um apart from that we do have several other you know several other set up, setups sorry several other sets here that can move over into the expansion schematics and i think that's going to happen too we're going to see those come over because things are from year one as we progress it's possible that they're going to you know be pushing things more into the expansion and once things are over here in the expansion of course you can go ahead and you can research things if you want that's not that big of a deal what we do need is legendary flux and you guys know that's not easy to get so i'm hoping that they will also give us different ways to get legendary flux so the last thing i want to talk about is uh let's go back to the reddit again so the last thing I want to talk about here is how long this is going to last and where it's going to go. So like I said again, I believe that also I believe that this week we are going to see a sale. I believe we're going to see a sale in Save the World and potentially it might be the last sale because if the game is going to go free, then at the beginning of or at the end of Season 10, um, it may not, we may not get another sale. So this may be the last sale we're going to be seeing for Save the World. I kind of hope that it is because I would love the game to go free to play, but once this happens, we are near the end of season nine, we are going to see our summer tickets go away. So what happens to your summer tickets? Well, they've told us that the summer tickets are going to, if you have any left over, they're going to be converted to sci-fi llamas, not the birthday llamas. And remember guys, more than likely the birthday event will only last two weeks. It's only going to be a two week long event. So it's going to be a fast and furious event. You're going to have to figure out what you want to do there. Of course, the last thing I want to bring up is the tickets. How do you get tickets? Yes, I'm sure you guys have seen people saying they have 20,000, 40,000, 60,000, 100,000, 200,000, 500,000 tickets. Now, we kind of did the math a little bit, and it seems that if you want to collect everything, 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 everything from the event, from the all the birthday llamas, everything on this list, if you are just now starting to play and you have nothing, you need anywhere between 110 to 140,000 tickets. That's taking into account, you know, duplicates and stuff like that. If you had perfect luck, you could get away with it from anywhere between like 70,000 tickets um, to get everything. But of course, no one has that. So you are going to need to get a little bit of some of those. Now, a lot of people already have mostly everything. I believe... I actually believe I have almost every everything here. Now, this is the thing. I've I'm using a lot of these. I'm using a lot of these, so I do need duplicates of these to be able to put them in my collection book. That's what I'm after. But I know that a lot of people out there, they don't have any of them. A lot of people don't have any of these heroes, any of these schematics. So it's very possible that you are going to be looking for your first ones, especially the heroes. And that's the important one here. Uh, the heroes are very important because there are a lot of heroes that you are going to be using, especially now with the hero loadout. For a lot of you guys who have been watching a while, <laughs> you know that way back when I had two heroes that I used. Like literally, if you go back and look at my, oh, sorry, I, the thing's still up. If you go back and look at my, um, at my previous videos, you'll see that I used, uh, where is he? Where is he? Where's that Jonesy? Where is Love Rain Love what's his name? Is it Love Ranger Jonesy? No, it's um Love yeah, Love Ranger Jonesy. So I I used to I had Love Ranger Jonesy, okay? Literally. Love Ranger Jonesy and Where is the where is he? Where's my ninja? There's my ninja. Swordmaster Ken. I actually had two of them. Uh so Love Ranger Jonesy and Swordmaster Ken were the only guys that I used. They were my only two heroes that I ever, ever used. And now I don't even know how many heroes I have maxed out at 130. But because of how the hero loadout is set up now, which I got to say, I love. I love the hero loadout. Not only can you wildly change your setup depending on who you want to use or what main perk you want, but then also who you want to support and how you want to support them. Add into that 
also the hero uh, the the hero the team perks and it's a whole different ball game a whole different setups that you can make you can make hundreds of setups now it's absolutely incredible and amazing and yes even though there are some heroes that i overly wildly encourage 100 you have to have those must have video uh must have videos that i do um for example where is he where where's where's that beautiful man where's that gorgeous man where are you dude there you are survivalist jonesy survivalist jonesy was my my very first must have video he is if you guys have watched my videos he is in pretty much every single one of my setups i love him he is amazing Plus, he's carrying a giant bomb on his okay, strapped to his back. That that's Jonesy for you right there. Uh, he is, he's awesome, and he is in pretty much every single one of my setups. So there are certain heroes that I will recommend you put them there every single time, no matter what. Then again, we also have to go back to the fact that it's just there's so much different setups, and they may not be for everyone. I don't enjoy Link's Cassandra, but then again. I also send a lot of heroes out on the resource runs. So doing those, sending people out in your expeditions, you also need high level heroes. But anyway, anyway, anyway. So it's very important to see that we have this incredibly wide variety of things that are going to be coming. And yes, of course, some people like me are looking for the duplicates in the list. Some people are looking for the first ones they have. Now, I don't have every single weapon schematic, especially not the epic and legendary. I haven't been very lucky with that. Also, in some cases, I have gotten an epic of a certain hero. Can we say Cyberclops? My goodness. Uh, but I haven't gotten the other ones. So even if we were to look at one of the most recent events, which is going to be the retro sci-fi, I still need both Cyberclops and an extraterrestrial reel. And... If I want, I need, look, I only have one of all these. I need doubles if I want one that I'm going to be using and one that I'm going to be putting in my collection book. So that's the whole, that's where it all boils down and breaks down to. If you need those doubles, if you need those extras, then of course, people who are out there with hundreds of thousands of tickets, congratulations to you. You are going to be just absolutely wonderful in getting those. Now, the last thing I want to briefly talk about is, of course, the summer tickets, because that's what it's all about. Uh, I personally, like you guys saw, I have 7,000 uh, summer tickets. I'm not really stressing that much about it. About it. I am going to try and get myself 2,500 tickets uh, this week before the birthday llamas come out, because I do want to open 10. I'm going to open 10 llamas when they first come out. And then after that, you guys know what I like to do. I like saving up. And then after that, I think I will do a little bit more of war games. I will do some more war games to, you know, grind them out. Now, that's the other thing. What is the best way to get tickets? If you're only interested in tickets and that's the only thing you want to do, you got to do the war games. All right. So right here, the war games daily challenges, doing your war games, doing the boot camp, uh, doing right here. Look at all these. Look, 100, 100, 100. All of these. They're going to give you a bunch. It's just, it's incredible. I have not done a lot of these. And there's a reason why. <laughs> there's a reason why I haven't done a lot of these because I'm saving. I'm waiting to be able to save up and get all of these tickets once the, the event happens. Um, so that's going to be fun. That's going to be fun. You've got the daily challenge. I mean, look at your daily challenges. Look at that. You can get yourself a bunch. And then after you do the daily challenges, you can do the repeatables. And that is something that a lot of people are doing. They're just grinding the summer tickets by doing the repeatable war games. The other way you can do them is if you go into your map and you look at the timed events that are going to have summer tickets. Of course, the higher the level and the difficulty of the event. Oh, I just saw this ride the lightning four times pure drop. Right. Ooh. It's a level 140 though. We might have to try this. We might have to have some fun with this one. Uh, but the higher level missions, of course, they're going to have more. And of course, you know, we can do 10 of these a day. So if you do 10 of these missions a day, of course, you can't do the same one over and over again. But you will be able to get yourself a good amount of tickets. If you're high level, you can get about a thousand tickets a day like that. So that's what I plan to do. I plan to do my 10 missions every single day during the birthday event up to the last day the leaves. I'm going to be able to get myself a good amount of tickets just doing that. And then apart from that, I may, and this is the last one, if you want to spend money, V-Bucks, if you want to go ahead and buy yourself some V-Bucks, 
and then if you want to go ahead and Some open llamas like out. right now we've got the troll loot truck llama wow i have not seen a troll loot truck llama in so long happening? but the troll loot truck llama is back and he comes with 1500 tickets if you want to spend your money if you want to spend v bucks you can buy v bucks and spend them every single day and get yourself those tickets now more than likely i will be doing this during the event i did it last year last year every single day i opened ev i did a daily video where i opened every single one of the llamas i don't know if i can do that this year last year i did spend a considerable amount of money I'm debating whether or not I'll do it this year. If I do it, I'm gonna have to op buy at least. I'm gonna have to buy at least one of these packs. Uh, but then again, I have to say, tell you guys, I have gone almost a year without spending money, any money in this game. It's been a year since I stopped spending money, and you know what? I enjoy the game. I want to support it, so possibly I will do that. I will buy all the llamas, yeah. get myself all the tickets I can, save them up, and then do one last big opening before the event leaves. So, those are my recommended ways of getting, actually I think that's the only ways to get tickets. War games, repeatable, you gotta do it. I don't think, someone told me that they were able to get tickets by repeating the Storm King mission, but I don't think that's true. I don't think you can, no. I don't think it gives you repeatable tickets. Uh, someone was telling me that, hey, you've gotta do the Storm King because you get tickets, but I don't think that's true. Unless it was some sort of a glitch during it or whatever, I don't think that's true. But I'm going to leave it there, guys. Thank you very much for watching. As always, I am DUJ2. Save your tickets up. Print out your list. Get ready. We'll talk more about this. I have several other videos. Each day I want to come out with other Let's Talk. Uh, I, I even have a little bit of a, a blast from the past. We're going to go back. We're going to go into the past and talk about some stuff. And we're going to have to see, guys, because this is our second year anniversary, guys. Second anniversary for Fortnite. Definitely Fortnite saved the world because it was the OG. It was the first one that was out. I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you very much. If you enjoyed this video, if you enjoy what I do on my channel, please, please, please do me a huge favor, guys. And have yourself a wonderful day. Thanks a lot for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. See ya.